For today's video, we will answer an algebra challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given these equations, 2a times 5 raised to the power of b equals 50, and 2 raised to the power of b times 5 raised to the power of a equals 20, then our goal is to find the values of a and, of course, the value of b. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you get the correct answer. All right, so let's have the given equations. Now, there are two possible solutions that we can make in these equations. So, the first one, since the numbers are too small, so we can guess and check. And the second one, what if the numbers are too big and we have the same scenario? So, we can now use the algebra approach. All right, now, how about the guess and check method? So, let's start. Since we have here 50, this 50, we can rewrite this as 2 times 25. And this 25, so we have 2 times 5 raised to the power of 2. So we can say that 50 is just 2 raised to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 2. It follows that A equals 1 and B equals 2. Now let's check to the second equation. What if this b is 2 and this a is 1? So 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. Multiply by 5. And sure enough, 4 times 5 will give us 20. So a equals 1 and b equals 2. So this is the method for guess and check. But the question is, what if those numbers are too big? So we can now use the algebra approach. So let's try this algebra approach in this scenario. All right. So what we're going to do to answer this question using algebra is first, let's multiply these two equations like this. And we can multiply 50 times 20. We all know that this is just 1,000. And 1,000, we can write this as 10 raised to the power of 3. All right. Next, what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit. So let's have same exponent but different bases because what we're going to do is to use this law of exponent. If we have the same exponent but we have different bases, we can write this as x times y raised to the power of n. So 2 raised to the power of a times 5 raised to the power of a, we can rewrite this as 2 times 5 raised to the power of a. And 2 times 5 is definitely equal to 10. So we have 10 raised to the power of a. Now, do the same thing in this 5 raised to the power of b times 2 raised to the power of b. So, we have 10 raised to the power of b. Next, we will use some loss of exponent again. If we have now the same base and different exponent, we can copy the base and add their exponent. So, we can copy this 10 and add their exponent like this, a plus b. Now, we have two equal expressions. We have equal bases, therefore their exponent must be the same. So we can say that a plus b must be equal to 3. That's the first equation that we get. Next, let's get again our given equations. And instead of multiplying them, let's divide these two equations like this. Now, 50 divided by 20, this is just 5 over 2, of course. And let's use some loss of exponent. Take note, when we have x raised to the power of n, if we take the reciprocal of this, the exponent becomes negative, all right? Or it changed the sign of the exponent. So if we take the reciprocal of this 5 raised to the power of a, we get 5 raised to the power of negative a. And also, if we take the reciprocal of 2 raised to the power of a on the numerator, we get 2 raised to the power of negative a. Now, why we do that? Because we will apply again this law of exponent. If we have the same base, we can add their exponent. So on the numerator, we have here 5 raised to the power of b minus a. And on the denominator, we have 2 raised to the power of b minus a. And again, some loss of exponent. If we divide two expressions with different bases but the same exponent, we can write this as x over y raised to the power of 
n. So, the left-hand side of our equation, we can rewrite this as 5 over 2 raised to the power, the same exponent, b raised to the power of minus a. And take note, we have here an exponent, 5 over 2. We can rewrite this 5 over 2 raised to the power of 1. Now, we have equal expressions. We have equal bases. So we can say that their exponent must be the same. So we have d minus a equals 1. Now, using these two equations, we can now solve for the values of a and b. Take note, when we add these two equations, when we add these two equations, we eliminate negative a and positive a. So this will give us 2b equals 4. And to solve for the value of b, divide both sides by 2. Sure enough, that b equals 2. Now, if b is 2, and we have here b minus a equals 1, if this is 2, so we have 2 minus something equals 1, this will give us the value of a as 1. Therefore, the values of a and b given this equation, a equals 1 and b equals 2. And as always, we are done.